Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So it is Monday the 20th of January. I'm currently reading The Power by Naomi Alderman and very much enjoying it. And uh, that's about all I've got for you. Oh, and I'm listening to my Charles Bukowski audiobook, so I'm going to listen to some more of that, a bit more of Ham on Rye. Hoping to finish that this evening. Night almost hot. I thought I saw some fireflies, but I wasn't sure. Hello, quick update. I'm still cracking on with the power. I'm also still listening to uh, Ham on Rye. I think I have about two hours left. Maybe a bit less than two hours left, actually. Yeah, probably about an hour and 45 minutes left. So I'm hoping to finish that tonight before I go to bed. Uh, having said that, I am also going to put the film I've been watching back on. Because I've been kind of alternating between the two. And filming a bit of a review as I go as well. Uh, one other thing to mention as well, I'm finished off uh, Bosch Healthy Vegan by Henry Firth and Ian Thiesby. This is a cookbook. Basically, I don't count a cookbook as finished until I've tried out all the recipes I want to try from it. It didn't take me too long to do that with this one because there weren't as many recipes that I wanted to try. Um, yeah, I mean, it was good and there were some pretty nice healthy recipes in there, but, you know, I don't know, I guess I was in more of a vegan junk food mood over the last month or whatever, but yeah, I tried out some of the recipes. I've kept maybe a half a dozen for my permanent recipe collection and uh, I will probably sell this on so it goes to a, a good home. So if you want to buy it, you know, link to my eBay store in the description below. <laughs> I did not even realise that, that this little Mr. Cat was sitting here. How long have you been sitting there for? <laughs> were you doing were you that their entire time so we can get a nice photo? Yo, hello. Um, it's Wednesday. I did go to the open mic last night. I played a few songs. It was alright. Had to stop one song in the middle because one of my st strings randomly went super out of tune. And yeah, I forgot forgot to film it as well. Um, yeah, I'll try and get back to vlogging more, I guess. And show more of like my life outside of these walls. I don't know. Maybe I'll move soon as well. Who knows? I think my tenancy agreement runs out in about two months time. Yeah, other than that, just cracking with being productive. I'm still reading The Power. I'm still enjoying it. It's um, hard to focus on reading what was one thing or another, but I'm doing it, giving it my best shot. I haven't listened to any audiobook this evening, actually, so maybe I'll do that in a bit. I might crack on with my audiobook of The Tommy Knockers by Stephen King. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Why do so many of us feel this way? And what can we do about it? Here's what you need. How to relax. Everyone always does that whenever you got anxiety. They're just like, oh, you need to relax. Yes, thank you, thank you. I, I was not aware of that. Um, I'm not watching this because I'm anxious, although I am a little bit anxious, I guess. Uh, I don't know, it's not been too bad of a, it's been a pretty bad day. I'm trying to decide what to do with my weekend because my mum's invited me to go and stay with her. Grandma said I can go and stay with her. So we'll see, I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's just been a weird week this week. So I'm stroking the cat down here. Uh, we've been watching a little bit of snooker. We've actually got, well, I'm watching The Mind Explained on Netflix and then on my other screen I have Sean Murphy playing Ali Carter. Uh, I know who wins, <laughs> but never mind. But I've got that just to, I don't know, keep me sane, I guess. Uh, I'm still reading The Power. I have, I would say, 40 pages left to go. And then... I don't know what I'm going to read next. Something cheerful, hopefully. Something, something cheerful. Oh, and look what happened to my laptop screen. Because, well, it was my fault. I put a pen on the laptop. And then the cat decided to sit on it. And then this happened. So, yeah, between us, we fucked that up proper good, didn't we, cat? Hello, it is Friday. The 20... 24th of January. Um, I think I'm doing okay. I guess basically the stuff is like... Uh. So yeah, it is Friday night. Um, there is a band playing in a pub near me. Uh, they're called The Offspin and they, they just do Offspring covers so they're an Offspring tribute band. And I'm kind of keen, I kind of want to go but I don't have anyone to go with so... I guess I'm not going to go. So yeah, I probably won't be going out tonight. I might do some music. I was thinking about doing some recording, so I might do that. Um, and some more reading and a bit of filming and stuff. Tomorrow, I should be seeing Naomi. We should be going to a reggae night. Um, yeah, we need to talk about stuff as well. Basically, like, my mental health and how it affects her. And, you know, I'm trying to look after myself. I'm trying to not go crazy. 
I'm trying real hard. It doesn't help. It doesn't help that this like flat I live in. I just I don't like living in this place. And like I never see anybody. I don't know. I just get a bit down being by myself all the time, which is funny because I never used to. That's why I live alone, you know. But uh, I think a lot of it's the anxiety as well, where I'm just like, well, what if I die and my my cat eats me? But hopefully he won't do that. Books wise. Oh, yeah, so that's Saturday. Hopefully go to the reggae thing. And then Sunday, there is the Sunday Jam at the Art Centre. And I will potentially play at that with my friend Dave. Um, we will see. And then on Monday, I think I'm going to go to my mum's place. I think I'm going to go to Tamworth and spend the week at my mum's. Um, again, just because it's been tough being alone and stuff i've been i've been struggling it's and also her mental health hasn't been the best as well so and she's got a week off work i can do like a half week and just work a bit you know um and then hopefully we can go out and do some nice stuff see some nice things you know take advantage of the fact that we're alive basically i think this is what everything comes down to like i hate just being by myself on an evening because i'm like yeah but eventually we're all gonna be dead you know I want to spend time with people be, that I love before before we're all dead, and um, yeah, and then everyone th and then everyone thinks you're super needy because you're just like all the time being like, can we go do something? I don't want to be alone, but it's like yeah, but we're all gonna die. Don't you realise? Don't you fools realise we're all going to die? Oh, what a shambles! Um, on a v vaguely more cheerful note, I read The Power by Naomi Alderman. I've finished this now. It did drag a little bit towards the end, to be honest. Um, so it wasn't a perfect book by any stretch, but it was very interesting. And I did enjoy uh, a lot of the questions it asked and also the way it was portrayed, like the ending bit. Um, there, were, like, there were a series of letters between someone called Neil and Naomi. Uh, and yeah, that was really well done. Um, like, it's quite hard to get meta like that and to do it well, but I think that she did it. Uh, pretty pretty well so there's that and now i'm reading a bit of a blur by alex james so he was the bait well i mean he's not dead so but he i guess the band no longer exists so he was the bassist in blur he's also a cheese maker that's about it that's all i know about him he played bass in blur and he's a cheese maker um he is talking in this actually that he studied french and almost went to university to study french it's in fact he might still have done so i don't know i'm still at near the start but um yeah, it's quite entertaining so far, quite well written. I mean, I've flagged little bits out here, like, I don't know. I mean, little quotes like this. Really, no band is ever any more sophisticated in an arrangement than that. A group of people who enjoy making a loud noise together, despite their differences. Yeah, he says, I loved girls, music, and France. I fell for France on holiday and on French exchanges. I went to Germany too, but they just wanted to play table tennis. In France, everything was exotic, erotic, dangerous, and fabulous. Cool women on mopeds smoked cool cigarettes and knew about cheese and poetry. Yeah, that's why I love French as well. Alright, I've got Drug Zinc on. Uh, Jesus, there's a lot of episodes of this series. It should keep me going this evening, I guess. I might watch The Two Popes later as well. Um, what else is new? I played guitar a little bit. I've cleaned my house as best as I can as well. Basically because I think the plan is to go see, see my mum next week. So, yeah, I'm just looking after myself as much as I can. Of nuclear war, he's purchased. He's uh, he's a bit nuts. He's um, he's met he's met his wife on a dating thing in Colombia and brought her over to the America, brought her over to America to marry him. He didn't think it would be a good idea to tell her before she came that he's a doomsday prepper and that he's get so. She's like literally just landed, and she's they've only met each other a couple of times already. Just landed, and he's like right. Can you prepare a bug out bag, please, of like all the stuff they're gonna need for if they need to escape because of an imminent nuclear apocalypse or whatever. It's fucking nuts. I love this show though, it's very interesting. Okay, so it is Saturday the 25th of January. Mental health, I mean, do we even need updates on this shit anymore? It's fine, I'll be all right. Um, Life itself is a bit up in the air at the moment. I've just finished editing my review of The Power. What else have, have, have I been doing? I did listen to some of my audiobook of the Tommyknockers last night. I've got, I'm not gonna lie, it's not working very well, but I don't think Stephen King translates very well to audiobook. I just think it, it reads a lot better than it is uh, when it's read aloud. 
I'm on page 62 of Bit of a Blur by Alex James and actually I am enjoying this a lot. This book's pretty much keeping me fucking going at the moment to be honest. I don't know, I just feel like, som like sometimes I've not been getting super engaged in my books recently. It's partly because I'm trying to reduce my currently reading pile down. So I think I'm on 95 or 94 at the moment. So that's quite good, but um... Yeah, I don't know, because I'm going to Tamworth to see my mum next week as well, so I might end up spending a load of money in charity shops buying second-hand books. We'll, we'll see. There's the Guild Hall. Yo, I'm so confused. I don't know where my camera is. Maybe I didn't bring it back from Tamworth when I went to stay with my mum. But then, I don't know. Because the thing is, I'm sure I would have seen it. I actually remember filming a clip on it in my bedroom. And so it, maybe it's in my bedroom somewhere. I don't know. I might have to go and visit my mum again to try and find it, I guess. I'm trying to think wh where I had it. I've unpacked, see this is the thing is, I've unpacked my case now and it's definitely not my case, but I might have already unpacked it and put it somewhere else, I don't know. Anyway, it's currently Thursday, I'm back from Tamworth, so I'm trying to remember when I gave you my last update. Well, I got to Tamworth on Sunday and on Sunday we pretty much just chilled with my mum. On Monday, uh, I went into town while well, my mum went off and had something done. So I had a little shop around town, got some stuff from the charity shops, some vinyls and some books, which I'm going to haul shortly. So that was quite nice. Um, did we do anything else then? No, then I just walked back home because I got back home before her. Uh, Tuesday, we went to Litchfield and we had some food at a place called the Ultimate Vegan Cafe, which is really nice. I had toe fish and chips. Uh, which they you ba they basically get tofu and then like wrap it in uh, seaweed and you know so a few other bits and, and serve that up so that was really good and my mum had a jacket potato of some kind uh, and again had a little look around Litchfield then on Wednesday my mum had a uh, beauty appointment at a place called Middleton Hall which is a very like quintessentially British place and so uh, yeah I went along with her and I had a little mooch around there while she was getting her stuff done read my book, uh, so that was that was good. And uh, then in the evening I went to, well I was planning on playing snooker with my dad, but I had forgot to uh, book a table. And basically there's this guy called Dave Gilbert, who's um, he's from Tamworth, where I'm from. And uh, he's a snooker player and he's recently been really successful. So um, it's kind of, that's his home club, you know, so that's kind of helped to promote them and so it was super busy but yeah it was still good it was good to see my dad I lost six too but hey ho and then today I headed home there is a cat behind me where is he where is he is it the angle wrong there he is hey biggie there's also a pizza behind me as you can see but not a camera where's my friggin camera gone I don't know so again as part of my sort of approach to mindfulness and trying to look after my mental health and whatnot I've been doing some coloring in in this cute coloring in book here we go, there's an example of it. Very nice, very cool. Apparently now my fucking battery's running out as well. Jesus. Uh, it's bothered me that I don't know where that camera is. Dope. All right, I'm sitting on the floor because this is the only way I can think of to make sure that my, well, it's the only place the phone charger will reach and stuff. So I'm gonna update you on the books I read. So I finished reading A Bit of a Blur, Bit of a Blur, sorry, by Alex James. Uh, so Alex James was in Blur. Finished reading this on my way uh, to Tamworth. As you can see, I've got a bunch of tabs uh, selected in it, so I'm gonna be doing a, a fuller review of this sometime soon. But yeah, it was good. Um, lots of cool stuff I learned. Uh, for example, he's a fan of Golden Nuggets, which is a cereal I used to like. And uh, on his rider, he used to get bottles of champagne and then carrots, because champagne makes your breath smell, uh, and carrots, the acidity of the carrots, take away the smell, apparently. Uh, that's what he says. Yeah, so that was pretty good. I would say like 3.75 out of 5. I also read The Comedy of Errors by William Shakespeare. Um, this is one that I picked up from a charity shop. Hey, Big E. Uh, and I picked this one up uh, like super cheap. It's one of Shakespeare's earlier plays, and I believe it's also his shortest or one of his shortest. And um, basically, there are two sets of twins that got separated 
during a shipwreck, I believe it was, and uh, the intro was saying, you know, shipwrecks are very Shakespearean iconography. Um, he wrote about them later in like The Tempest and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, that was that was that was interesting enough. And the plot, basically, these brothers go back to this. They, basically, these brothers end up in the same town, and they're totally unaware of each other's existence. And then the comedy of errors is what happens when people mistake them for each other. You know, pretty good. Uh, probably like a three point five out of five. I mean, it's Shakespeare. How do you rate Shakespeare? You know. And then I read Inferno, uh, sorry, and then I read Origin by Dan Brown. So this is his most recent novel. And so that's kind of good because it means I'm now all caught up and I, I don't have to read any more Dan Brown. I don't mind him, you know, I think people, I, I joke that he's like the Nickelback of literature, but I don't mind Nickelback either. I mean, I wouldn't go out of my way to go and see them or anything. And that's kind of the same with this. I've had this book for a little while. In this one, basically there's this f sort of f celebrated like Elon Musk type, uh, entrepreneur and um, investor and all this stuff. And he's got this big announcement to make that he says is going to turn the world on its head about who we are and where we come from and stuff. But before he makes his presentation, he gets murdered. There's also some stuff with AI in it, which was quite cool. I mean, it's way ahead of where we are now, but theoretically in the next 20 years, we could do that kind of stuff, you know? And... Um, yeah, it was it was all right. I gave it like a well, I gave it a three point two five out of five, and it would have been a three point five out of five. The big issue is at the end of the book before this, something massive happened. Uh, spoilers: basically, everybody was or like seventy percent of the world's population became impotent, and it's just not even mentioned in this story. And I just think that's weird because that should have huge ramifications, you know, shouldn't it, Biggie? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, and now, uh, it's over there, I'm not going to go pick it up, but I'm currently reading Measure for Measure, which is another Shakespeare play. So that's pretty good. Uh, other news, we have our Ilk CDs, so the band I am in. Uh, the Ilk, our CDs have arrived. The Ilk, Depression and Mediocrity. Uh, that's me and Dave on the front cover, here's the rear cover. And then you open it up, and then we've got this. And then you take the CD out. Oops, shit. It runs away, we've got the ilk, and then it goes back into this little... So it's all, it's all quite cool, and these, I think they only cost us two quid each to make, and they're also very environmental, because of, um, you know, there's no plastic in it or anything like that, they're all cardboard. So, uh, yeah, these are around now. I think you, you can only buy them from my friend Dave at the moment, but uh, I don't know, they're like five quid each, so if you want to buy one, let me know and I can send one to you. I guess it'd be five quid plus postage. Um, it's not on Spotify and stuff yet, but it may come on later once we've recouped the cost of the CD. So there's that. And then tonight I am on the radio at nine o'clock, which I don't know when it is because I don't know what time it is now. Um, but I'm going to go talk about books on Planet Claire. And it's her last show as well. Um, so that's sad, but it's nice to be a part of it, I suppose. And I've actually got radio training on Sunday because I'm going to be having a show of my own, which is going to be 7 till 8 p.m. on Tuesday, starting in March. And that's pretty cool because the Chilton Taps open mic is on immediately afterwards. So I could go do my radio bit and then go straight to the open mic and have a drink. So that's where we're at. And then tomorrow, I think I'm going to be helping Fran to set up the art center for some events. And possibly, uh, well, yeah, I should be helping at the bar tomorrow night as well. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's where we're at. And then I don't know the plans for the weekend yet. And now I'm back as well. I want to start investigating, you know, clubs and societies and things like that so I can go and make some new friends and talk about some new shit. All right. So that's where we're at. Mental health is doing a little bit better. Cap, what are you doing? You helping me to sort some pieces? Yeah? Is it nice in there? I'm trying to do my jigsaw, but somebody sat in the box with all the pieces. Who would that be? I am watching A Year in Space, and it is Saturday. 
So, if I look hungover, it's because I am a bit hungover, but I didn't have that much. I had like four pints. Um, I was volunteering at the Arts Centre yesterday, so I went over at about two. The event started at half seven, finished at about 11, and it was about midnight by the time I left. And then we went to a pub for a couple of drinks. But yeah, it was good. It was like a cabaret thing. I took some videos, so I'm sure I've whacked those in. And it was all for a fundraiser for the Arts Centre as well. So there was also a raffle to raise some money and obviously tickets on the door, and um, what else is there? Old programs were for sale, and obviously all the bar money as well. So, uh, and it's happening again tonight, but I'm not volunteering tonight, because I feel terrible. I'm thinking about maybe going to Maidenhead with my friend Dave. Um, there's a pub there that we go to, and we might be able to play some money and sell some, some of our CDs. Oh yeah, did I show you our CDs? I think I did, didn't I? Um, yeah, so we might be able to sell some of these, who knows? Yeah, that's what may or may not happen, and uh, I'm still reading Measure for Measure, wherever the hell it is. I don't, I don't know where it is. I'll have to go and find it in a minute, I guess. But um, yeah, I'm still reading Measure for Measure and still enjoying that, so that is good. And um, I think that's all I've got for you. Yeah, I'm just, just you know. Oh, I won a bottle of. Um, uh, where is it? I won this in the raffle. This sparkling rosé. So that's nice. Um, yeah. Vino spumante di qualità del tipo aromatico. Yeah, because it's Italian and I can't speak Italian. Just in case the first one happened to suffer a coronary or something. As always, I've got the snooker on and side. Stephen King's Tommy knock is really no way he could leave. My girlfriend broke up with me, so that's a thing. Um, she wants to like concentrate on her career and stuff, and she might be going back to France. So. Yeah, but yeah, that's why I've been up and down a bit over the last couple of weeks. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow at like 9.20 a.m., which I'll try and go to, because I want to ask them to, uh, <laughs> I was already going to ask them to up, up my uh, antidepressants, but yeah, like, I am holding on to this, uh, Al from uh, Big Al's Books and Classics, Hard Books and Classics, sent me this, and it's just nice to have it around my neck, because I can hold it and remember that, like, people care about me. I have been reading The Man in the Picture, A Ghost Story by Susan Hill. Um, it's been alright, obviously my attention hasn't really been on it, so maybe I'll reread this one day. But it's been a decent enough ghost story for what it is. I forgot the snooker's on, you can probably hear bits of it. Um, I'm still recording on my phone, my mum has found my camera though, so she's going to send that to me. Which is good because, um, you know, filming videos and posting them will help to keep me busy I suppose. And, Maybe give me a sense of normality, like, this is one of the things that I realised, that I don't have a huge number of friends around in Wickham where I live, and a lot of my friends are booktube friends, you know? I think the only, oh no, I do have over here, I finished reading Measure for Measure, so that was alright, it was like 3.5 out of 5, uh, and up next I'm going to read The Small Hand, another ghost story by Susan Hill. Uh, oh, and I might start working again on my audiobook of... Uh, formerly my novel, just to get it out in more formats and stuff, you know? <laughs> I was expecting that! <laughs> oh. God! Bringing up your family Girls, if I had my brothers I'd both fuck both your brothers Then I'd grab your sister Take her right back and fist her Go down on your mama Start a whole life R.I.P. Alan Rickman. Alright, so I, as you can tell I'm watching the end of Die Hard. I should probably pause it while I'm filming. Still recording on my phone, but my camera has shown up. My mum found it. Um, I'd left it in Tamworth, so I think she's posting that to me tomorrow. So hopefully it'll arrive soon. Which is good because um, my phone, uh, basically, it doesn't connect to my computer properly, so I can't really upload, you know, transfer across files. So I can film on my phone and then I have to upload them files manually to Dropbox, which takes an age. I've actually been doing it on 3G data because my 3G is better than my Wi-Fi here. And it just fucking takes forever. Um, still not feeling great, obviously. I mean, well, yeah. I got broken up with 48 hours. Well, 52, something like that. I don't know what day is it, is it Wednesday? Yeah. So I'm still like super down about that, to be honest, but you know, I'm trying to 
move forwards, I suppose. Um, trying to think what I'm going to do with my life. Because uh, I'm at this midlife crisis stage, I suppose. I know I'm only 30, but I just don't know what to do next, I guess. I've been doing some writing. I've been writing a short story, which I've been really enjoying doing, actually. Um, so I might do that as a video. We'll see. Went to the open mic night last night, saw some music, played some music. It was all right. I wasn't at my best, to be honest. Uh, so I played with Dave and I played with Jordana, and both of those were pretty good. But when I played by myself, I don't think anyone gave a shit. Nobody was really listening. But I was really mainly playing songs for cathartic reasons, you know? Um, I haven't really been eating. I've had two smoothies today and a bowl of tomato and basil soup. I might have another bowl of soup in a minute. Uh, I finished reading The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. I had read half of it in French and in English and obviously when it came to the second half. Merchant of Venice, pretty good. Um, what's his name, Bassanio? No, Antonio. Yeah, Antonio is the merchant of Venice. Bassanio is his mate. Antonio makes a deal with Shylock to borrow some money, and he says he promises a pound of his flesh um, if you know if he can't repay the loan. And then his his ships sink. So we just deal we we deal with what happens after that. It's pretty good. There's a lot of um, you know phrases and stuff that we've ad adapted into modern day mainstream culture that come from this place. So that was cool. I would go and see it. I gave it a three point seven five out of five. I also read, finished reading The Man in the Picture by Susan Hill. This is a ghost story. Um, it actually did kind of remind me about Stephen King. I don't know whether some of King's stuff came first or whether this came first. Obviously, Susan Hill writes more in a kind of historical fiction slash horror way. But uh, yeah, basically, there's this weird picture and people keep getting like absorbed into it. So uh, yeah, I, again, I, I wasn't at the best time of my life while reading it. So. I don't know whether I gave, gave it as much as attention as, as I should have, but especially during the end it really picked up and for like a novella you can't really go wrong. I gave it a 3.5 out of 5. And now I am following that ghost story up with another ghost story by Susan Hill, The Small Hand. Uh, and this is like this guy, he's a rare book dealer actually, which I think is quite interesting. And uh, yeah, he kind of visits this property uh, when he's visiting one of his clients. And then something weird happens, he feels this strange ghostly hand. And so now he's kind of compelled to go back to it. I mean, the print's pretty nice as well. Like, you know, it's definitely readable in this format. So that's good. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my vlog. I might keep it going for a few more days. I guess until I get my camera back and then we'll end off this vlog, which has probably been a mammoth vlog. I don't know because I can't edit it all together, you know? Mm. Hello, so it is Thursday the 6th. Um, still not feeling my best for obvious reasons, but I've been a bit better today. Uh, it's my friend Dave's birthday. Uh, he's in the band The Ilk with me. So uh, yeah, he's 63 today. So we might go to an open mic. Uh, there's one on in Bourne End, uh, a place called the Garibaldi. So I might go to that. I've just hauled a few books. I'm still reading Small Hands by St uh, Susan Hill. But I've almost finished, so then I'm going to pick up my next read. I don't know what it will be yet. I'm currently watching, I think it's called The Pharmacist on Netflix. It's about this guy, his son was murdered during a drug deal gone wrong. And he started to look into it and realised that it's because of the, you know, the opioid crisis. And obviously he's a pharmacist, so we're kind of investigating his role in that as well. Um... Yeah, I managed to eat some sandwiches earlier, which is my first solid food for about four days, so that's good. And uh, yeah, I'm just keeping on keeping on, you know? Saturday night, so I vlogged earlier. I'm just enjoying having my camera back, so I've been doing a lot of editing today, caught up with some comments and stuff, sort of excited to get back into the community, you know? Uh, sitting here watching BoJack Horseman, it's currently 11 p.m. I've been going to bed fairly late, so I probably won't go to bed for another couple of hours. I'm actually watching the last episode of BoJack, so yeah, I don't know, I might do some of my jigsaw in a bit as well. Uh, I'll show you it when I, when I get 
to a better point. I've only done the edges of it so far. My uh, mum actually got it and she did it first while she was on holiday. It's quite sweet because she used it to deal with her anxiety and now I'm kind of using it for mine, you know? Um, yeah, and then, because this is my first night in for like four, well, oh yeah, Biggie's in the porch at the moment as well and it's super annoying because I have to, um, because I have to keep the door, the door like open on the latch so that you can come back in. But it makes it slightly colder in here. Yes, yeah, very first world problems. We're uh, we're weathering out the storm, aren't we, Biggs? We're we're weathering out storm, Kiara. Jesus fucking Christ, it's leaked in my porch. Yes, I know it's messy. It's on my list of things to do. That traffic cone up there, I brought that back. Well, somebody put it at the art centre railings, and I thought, no, I'm not going to leave that there. It looks bad, so I moved it to my house. Yeah, so Storm Kiara is here. Everyone's, everyone's kind of losing their shit because of this storm. And, um, I don't know. I thought it was quite nice. I was sitting there listening to it when I was falling asleep last night. Um, I didn't actually go to... Well, I went to bed at like 2am and went to sleep about 4. It's currently coming up to 2pm on Sunday the 9th. And there is an acoustic jam at the Bellevue. I haven't written it on my calendar. That's silly of me. Well, I say acoustic. It's called the Almost Acoustic Club. So I think me and my friend Dave are going to play a few songs. Um, try and shift some of our CDs, I guess. Uh, I am still reading This Is Not A Drill. I'm literally right at the end. I've actually just finished reading the afterword. And then there's something after the afterword, as you do. So, um, yeah, I'm going to finish that off today. And then next up, I might read uh, Kirk Zamplaster versus Protocol 9, which is by Ollie Jacobs, who's an indie writer friend of mine. And I've read all of his other Kirk Zamplaster books. And they've been good. So I, sh I, sh I think I should watch this one as well. Do I have anything else to update you on? I think that's it, mate. I think that's it. I'll, tr I'll try and take my camera later and try and get some videos of the performances and stuff. Um, yeah. That's it. That's it. All right. It's a Sunday. No post on Sundays. Uh, I, I, I'm not looking forward to braving the rain, to be fair. I'm to walk across town in a fucking rainstorm, but hey-ho. Oh, and one further thing. My friend posted a dad joke that's made me laugh quite a lot. He said, he said, do people ever listen to placebo thinking it's the cure? You know that somebody smells when they've been smoking cigarettes for three days and they haven't slept or showered? You know that smell? I feel attacked. We're holding hands, aren't we, Biggie? Ow. <laughs> okay, you licked me. That was nice. Nice, a nice lick. We, the jury, having found defendant Ryan what are you up to? Are you up to? We're the watching Dream Killer on Netflix, aren't we, Biggie? Yes. Aha! Ah don't know what you've done to me But before this night is used I won't do bad things with you Snooker and Stephen King again All the way up to Yeah It is It is 8 o'clock in the morning Um I went to the Sunday Jam yesterday. I forgot to take my camera. I did get a clip, though, of one guy playing, so that's good. But, um, yeah, our set went pretty well. Um, and then I got back at, like, half eight and just went to bed and then woke up at about 2 a.m. And I've been awake since 2 a.m. So now I'm just going to try and power through to this evening and have a productive day and then sleep tonight. And then tomorrow night is the Chilton Taps open mic, so, you know, I'm keeping myself busy with the open mic so I don't feel the fear and existential dread. <laughs> um, speaking of fear and existential dread, I finished reading This Is Not A Drill, uh, the Extinction Rebellion handbook. I gave this like a 3.5 out of 5. I actually don't know if it's the most approachable thing out there for like potential would-be activists or whatever. Like there is some really interesting stuff, but also there's a lot of stuff that's almost irrelevant. And then like there was a load of stuff about how to like block bridges and you know, how to cater to large groups of people at protests and stuff. And I'm just like, well, I mean, I'm not, I, I would join a protest, but I'm not planning on organizing one, you know? But yeah, it was all right for what it was. Uh, it took me longer to read than I was expecting. And now I'm reading Kirk Sandblaster vs. Protocol 9 by Ollie Jacobs. This is for Todd and Dane. Indie read-along. And, uh, yeah, it's like... 
I don't know which number book in the series at this point, but uh, the Kirk, Kirk Sandblaster series are like these humorous sci-fi series. And uh, Ollie is a good friend of mine, so this is his new book. I think I'm actually the pers first person to buy it. Yeah, so I guess this is a good place to leave this vlog, is it? This 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 vlog has like been going for like two or three weeks, and it's just been a very strange few weeks. But uh, yeah, I mean, I made it to the end, so that's good. So. <laughs> As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of the books and stuff I talked about. Uh, hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.